Welcome to our lecture online. So how do you get the whole world that doesn't believe you to change their mind? Well, Einstein found a way to do so. He had come with the principle of equivalence, saying that curvature of space is what causes gravity, and because of that, light is affected by gravity as well. And so at that point, nobody believed him. Maybe a few people did, but by and large, the general scientific community around the world did not believe Einstein and did not believe that light was actually affected by gravity. But then he told him, I can prove it to you. And he did in 1919. So what happened in 1919 was that there was a total solar eclipse that was going to occur off the coast of South America. So they got an expedition together, chartered a boat, and traveled down to the coast of South America. But six months before that, when the Earth was in this position, he told everybody, take pictures of the sky at night and have the stars, the bright stars in front of you, located on those pictures. So they did. And let's say that the black crosses right here are the representation of the stars they had pictured. Then he said, six months later, when the Earth is on the other side of the Sun, of course, you can't see those stars anymore unless there's a total solar eclipse. And at one day, known ahead of time it's in the uh, at the coast of south america the moon blocked the light of the sun and at that moment for a few minutes they were able to see the sky the sky darken again and the brightest of the stars would reappear and he told them take a picture again and the stars will have changed their position relative to the other stars not affected by this because they were at different locations in the sky so what happened was, for example, this star, this star right here, you can see that six months earlier, the light went directly to the Earth. Now, the distance from here to here is so small that the angle, of course, would not change whether or not the Earth was here or here. That star would look in exactly the same location because that small distance, twice the distance between the Earth and the Sun, two astronomical units would not affect these enormous distances to stars which are hundreds of thousands of times or millions of times the distance between Earth and the Sun. But if the light had to travel past the Sun to reach the Earth, Einstein predicted that the gravitational field around the Sun, the warping of space, would cause the light to change direction. And as the light then approached the Earth at a different angle, any obs observation be it with pictures, be it with telescopes, be it with the eye, would imagine, and of course, it's not really imagination, it's because of the changing of the direction of the light, it looked as if the star was now in a different location instead of here. This is now the new visible location of the star because the light had warped around the sun. It simply had taken a different path because of the curvature of space, the warping of space. And so on the photographs themselves, the star would be at a different location. And sure enough, when they took the picture, they developed it, and they looked at it, they saw that he was correct. The star was now in a different location. Not only that, he had predicted the angle at which the star would now appear relative to the previous location. And sure enough, he was correct again. It was an amazing accomplishment, an amazing experiment that brought Einstein into world fame because it was absolutely amazing that he made that prediction from the concept of the equivalence principle. And then how would he take that and take that to a leap of faith, so to speak, and predict that light would be affected, the path of light would be affected by gravity in such a way that light itself is affected by gravity. But after this experiment, very few people doubted that he was correct. It was an absolute amazing feat. It was an absolute amazing discovery. And it gave us an entirely different way of looking at the concept of gravity, and hence the general theory of relativity. Now we're going to see of all the other effects caused by this theory. For example, the motion of Mercury is affected by that general theory of relativity. And time is affected by general theory, theory of relativity. And so you'll see that there's all kinds of effects that we can actually measure and see. Again, proving over and over and over again that this theory is absolutely correct. And that space is indeed curved or warped, causing the effect of gravity. It's an amazing discovery, and this is how we proved it. Pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
If I remember right, he was pretty bored with class. He didn't want to go to class. They just bored him to death with equations and theories, and he didn't care about that. He wanted to undercover the universe, which he did. So don't bore smart kids like that. Give them, give them some expanse to, to discover these things. Mm.